BP's been frozen out of the process to win new U.S. federal government contracts, at least for now. The powerful Environmental Protection Agency has banned new government business for BP until the firm can demonstrate it's meeting federal business standards, citing its lack of business integrity. It comes weeks after BP paid $4.5 billion to settle criminal charges related to the 2010 Deepwater Horizon oil rig explosion that killed 11 men and caused the worst environmental and business disaster the region's ever known. Only last April, Al Jazeera revealed the extent of deformed sea life, declining fish stocks and the poor health of Gulf residents, which they insist is related to the spill. The EPA's warning BP there'll be no new federal contracts unless the firm lives up to the terms of its agreement with the Department of Justice that led to that record fine. In other words, pay up swiftly, install new safety monitors on all rigs and carry out safety and training audits. BP says it's already working on an agreement with the EPA and expects to have the matter resolved soon. The suspension doesn't affect existing contracts, just new ones. The fact that this is a temporary suspension should be cause for some alarm. That implies BP will be back at work uh, with future contracts as they are still today with past contracts, with very little oversight, very little safety improvement since the Deepwater Horizon disaster, and that's outrageous. Meanwhile, in New Orleans on Wednesday, three BP employees appeared in court for the first time to face charges in connection with Deepwater Horizon. Two men who worked on the rig are denying charges of manslaughter. A third, who worked at BP's crisis center, is denying lying to the United States Congress at the time of the disaster. John Terrett, Al Jazeera, Washington.